Have you been wanting to start a gratitude practice, journaling, or anything and increase your gratitude level? Well, lots of people have been interested in it, and actually there's like so many studies on it because gratitude works. In fact, we're learning about the seven exercises in this cute little book here called Gratitude Works by Robert Emmons. And gratitude improves your mood, it improves the quality of your life, it helps you feel happier and feel more at peace. And there's so many other things. This is a powerful book. In this video, we're going to be talking about the first exercise called the three blessings and you're going to learn all about that for your gratitude practice for your gratitude journaling practice or if you want to turn it into a 21 day practice this is the third video in the series of the gratitude journaling challenge and we're going to get started in just a minute but first I'm Marie Morin. I'm a therapist and a wellness coach at Morin Holistic Therapy, and I share tips and tools to help busy professional women overcome perfectionism so they can live a happier and healthier life. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe, hit the notification button and the bell so you can be notified whenever a new video is available and learn my new tools and tips. If you know someone this may help, please share it with them. Let's get started. So these exercises come straight out of the Gratitude Works book by Robert A. Emmons. And the first exercise uh, that you can do, now remember, you want, to sh you want to, if you're not doing the challenge, which I gave a whole orderly way of doing that, um, you want to take the time to alternate what you're doing. So if you're going to do the three blessings today, you want to do a different one tomorrow. These exercises come straight out of Gratitude Works by Robert Emmons. You're going to want to do this on day 1, 8, and 15 if you're doing the challenge. Now, don't worry. If you're not doing the challenge, this is great to learn so you can alternate because variety in a gratitude journaling practice is the best thing. You don't want to do the same thing every day. We need a little spice in our gratitude um, practice. All right, so the three blessings, what is that about? So what you do in this exercise is that you recall three things that went well for you on that day. And you're gonna write each one separately, but you're gonna include the following information. You wanna include what someone did for you on that day that helped you feel special if they went out of their way for you, if they gave you a gift, and recall that event no matter how large or small. You're gonna recall and write, write why that event went well, and you're gonna recall and write what happened that allowed that event to go well. Why do you think it went well? And what does that even mean to you? Like, let's say someone, um, actually made a way for you to go to a concert. This happened to me once. Somebody gave me U2, um, I'm sorry, U2 tickets. And I was like, this was like six years ago, and I was beyond myself, and she gifted them to me. And I could not believe that she did that. And what it meant was that I had one of the best evenings. It was wonderful. So um, what does that event mean to you? So I would write about how that was so fun and how she really gifted me a great time and you get the picture, okay? So the next part of that is can you tell someone about this good thing? Like would you want to tell someone and maybe that would be a great thing because when we actually tell people how blessed we are and how wonderful things go, you end up really reliving that event all over again and that's like super powerful and really increases our gratitude muscle. So you're gonna to wanna to do this on day one, eight, and 15. Um, so remember, the gratitude um, journal practice is all about switching things up. They shouldn't take more than 10 minutes. This one is called the three blessings. Um, it's relatively simple. You're gonna just recall three things that went well, and you're gonna say why they went well, what you thought about it, how it impacted you, and if you wanna tell someone, it's a good idea to do that. Um, 
and do them on day 1, 8, and 15. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you want to see the rest of the series, you want to hit the card and look for the link in the box below. There's also going to be information that you can download to make this easier that'll be printed about the different um, exercises. And we will see you in the next video where I'm going to give you more tips and tools to lead a happier and healthier life. See you next time.